So Screw Robotics have recently announced a very interesting robot called R-Droid and um, this is a new kind of robot that we never really experienced so far. So not only we get a really cool robot with all these latest technology, we get on top of that a mixture of augmented reality so joy as well. So enough said, let's check out the latest uh, video clip that they have released, shall we? So here it goes. Okay, that box doesn't look convincing. Hey, I'm sure you're going to get a better boxing. Yeah, now that's really important. The spatial mapping, I would really like to know how it works, how quickly it could actually do the mapping. This is something that relates to my architecture profession. So that's one of the main things that uh, drove my attention to this uh, robot. So, okay, so AR gaming. And obviously you can play games by after doing the mapping, it's aware of the surroundings and you can see these robots automatically coming out and you're just basically playing a shooting game, uh, which is really cool. So this is a single player mode and you got the boss. That's quite cool. I would love to play that actually. So it's a single player mode and you can do multiplayer modes by um, bringing along your friend who also has the R-Droid uh, robot and you can do the, wow, that's real-time screen mirroring as well. So you can actually put that onto your um, TV as well. That's really good. I presume you will need a Chromecast for this technology. We could find out later on. Yeah, so the uh, VR headset. Look at that. Did you see that? So the robot head moves as your head turns around. Uh, once you Bluetooth synchronize it as well. So that is one of those really cool technology. Let's check that out again, shall we? So your head moves, then the robot follows along. So that's another shooting game. That is quite cool. Compatible with smartphones and VR. So you can use smartphones and VR headset, yeah. So this is the football game that I actually um, explained on my previous video and the racing game as well. I really don't understand how to, oh, I see, okay, fine. Now, that is very interesting. If we pause here, you actually look at this wheel of this robot, is actually not a ordinary sort of um, wheel that we've seen from a car, but it's actually those special wheels that I've seen from a very well-known international tire company that you can actually use it for 360 degrees. So the maneuver, if we actually check that again, is very cool indeed. Look at that. So you could actually immediately turn left and right. But actually going back to the racing mode itself, is it actually the robot itself is racing it? But then again, you can see the um, your competitors I presume those are the augmented reality created competitors. But the other thing, other question is that if you bring your friends around to play multi-game mode, is it actually going to show the um, R-Droid uh, robot? Or uh, it's some, one of those things that we need to find out more about, I think. Anyhow, so that's the racing game that you could do, which I presume R-Droid is moving along with it. Okay, so... 200 lighting effects, that's quite cool. Now, that is really interesting. Chat GPT, one of the most up interesting upcoming uh, technology that has been discussed recently. So yeah, this robot will definitely have Chat GPT that you can interact with hey, gaming Android, systems and so on. I'm getting bored. Anything fun to do? That's I cool. I can turn the home into a haunted house. It's like your it's new R2D2, isn't it? So you can wear your VR headset and it's one of those games that that doll need like actually looks quite creepy, doesn't it? Ooh, creepy. Oh, okay, so that's Chucky. Um, okay, so if we pause here, I, I'm actually um, questioning how many series and what are the length of each horror games, which uh, will be very interested to find out as well. 
So we're going back to the family joy. Yeah, no, that, that is really interesting. You could do multi games and these are the quick series of the games that they're going to release and there, there are more games to come along as well. So indeed, this is basically a robot um, that is designed to play games with a augmented reality and so on. So uh, I'm not really sure what the price tag is going to be for this robot, but I know it's not going to be cheap because it's actually using um, augmented reality technology with the chat GPT, which I believe is not that expensive. But then again, um, there is also questioning about if we're going to use a later uh, version of chat GPT, there is a uh, fee for using that. Um, you need to pay per uh, question and so on. So I don't know what version of chat GPT they're going to use, but um, I think regards to robotics, um, many customers have actually addressed that we do not like ongoing costs. Uh, that is one of those biggest uh, subjects that one as a customer consider before buying, um, getting these robots. But it's, it's one of those kinds, one of the new kinds of interesting robot that we should explore. So um, I hope this video sort of clarify more about what this very interesting upcoming uh, Ardra robot is about. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and make sure you check out my description below which I would also post the link of this video and also the YouTube website and also the Facebook group page as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.